who's kicked a rock or a root hard with your toe, hopefully you didn't fall down, in 2021. I haven't done a bad one. Let's go, let's go. Solomon Ultra Glide, full review. We are at 34 miles, I do believe. Th there it is on your screen, 34 miles uh, in this shoe and I, at least 9,000 feet of vertical gain because I took this shoe up and down Grays and Tories a couple times as, as well as one other run. So Solomon Ultra Glide, full review coming at you in the shootout. Here we go. Twist test. It's twisting everybody 100%. Let's get that goose on the screen. Six millimeter drop from heel to toe. 32 in the heel, 26 in the forefoot. Uh-huh. Coming in at nine. Let's just confirm. There it is. Women's size eight, men's size nine. Coming in at eight. No, no, no. Sorry. Yes. 9.3 ounces in my size there is my score 8.25 out of 10 with that type of stack height anything under gosh under nine and a half ounces is really really solid good work there solomon so 8.25 out of 10 looking at a mono mesh with a fully gusseted tongue i love the tongue great lockdown there it is eight out of ten just a an incredible lockdown now <laughs> At some point, Solomon, I am going to start cutting these shoelaces and using the, so the, it's these cords and these cords, uh, it's, it's just a very thin shoelace and it's, I don't, I'm not feeling it, but I could foresee some newer runners on the trails being very apprehensive about these shoelaces. I would prefer to see Solomon some, some shoelaces that are a little wider, not thicker, just wider. And because I could foresee them cutting into the top of some people's feet if they pulled the shoelaces a little too tight. Anyway, that's really my only drawback of this upper. A great, actually, let's, oh yeah, great toe bumper, great protection for your toes if you kick a rock or a root out there on the trails. Great over uh, overlay through the toe box to keep the, the grime and the grit and the water out of the toe box. Let's do the heel counter, pretty solid, okay. Pretty good strength there, uh, not plush but very comfortable collar. So overall score for the upper eight and a half out of 10. I really, other, the, whenever I point out shoelaces as the drawback to the upper, that's a good sign. So good, good job once again there. Solomon, we're looking at this Energy Surge midsole. It's an EVA and Olefin blend. Um, it's, the, it's performance running platform that delivers long distance cushion comfort and smooth transitions, which I felt out there on the trails. Um, and, and it's thanks to this cohesive action of Energy Surge foam. Okay, so overall, I mean, I just, um, oh, durometer. Let's do it. I just love it. It's it's soft, but it's not too soft. It's soft, but it's throwing my thumbs back at me. It's it really is everyone. So ride and energy return eight out of ten. Overall score eight out of ten. Mostly because great foot prote protection out there on the trails. I need to get a drink of water. It's hot out here in the studio. Um, out there on the trails. So overall, I'm just incredibly pleased 
In fact, it, um, it did really, really well. You may have seen the trail running shoe matrix. I'll do my best to link to it down below in the description. Also over on demoreglobalrunning.com. Also upper right hand corner. This shoe did great in the trail running shoe matrix blog that published recently okay moving on to that contra grip ma uh, outsole okay just just about right i mean it's a it's a commuter this could commute from the pavement and concrete to the trails and still get some solid grip out there on the trails as well so uh really no complaints about that out that outsole i mean oh gosh and you know after 34 miles on some pretty i mean here's some footage i mean i took it on some aggressive trail running everyone this summer getting ready for the pikes peak marathon and uh, the outsole is holding up really really well so overall great score for that outsole fit standard score i'm gonna say plenty of room in the toe box you know solomon in the past has been known to run a little bit narrow I'm not sensing that. I think they're listening a little bit. I think they widen that toe box. Just I can sense just a little bit in this Ultra Glide. So toe box, I didn't feel scrunched at all in there. Uh, seven and a half out of ten. Comfort, eight out of ten. Oh, I don't even. It's mostly because of the midsole. Not, not and when I do the comfort score, of course, I'm always mentioning it's the entire shoe. It's the combination of upper plus midsole. Upper plus midsole equals comfort okay so overall score we are looking at eight out of ten positives and drawbacks positive is the midsole durometer and my drawback is the shoelaces oh i love when i love when a drawback are the shoelaces just so you know durability prediction i went 350 to 450 if I, I okay, I'll just split it down the middle at 400. Not an incredible durability prediction. I am seeing creasing through the midsole, so for that full benefit, and I'm okay with that. I'd rather have a little softer ride. I'd rather have that midsole break down a little quicker, um, in order to give my legs a little more forgiveness for those long runs out there on the trails. Price point, 140. I was expecting 150, 160 from Solomon. 140 boom i love it great job eight out of ten other shoes to buy on your screen the uh brooks catamount the hoka torrent 2 which is lighter the ultra lone peak 5 then you know what i'm actually gonna make some amendments here um i'm gonna go hoka torrent 2 i'm gonna go um you know i'm gonna go nike peg trail 3 i'm gonna go brooks caldera five to a certain extent yeah i'm just gonna make a few amendments I, i'm realizing this list needs an update okay so there's a few on your screen to consider buying at the end of the day um oh you, and you know what else okay this is the this is the number one contender the asics tribuco max do i have it somewhere to show it to oh, oh there it is the asics tribuco max these actually were my two favorite long run shoes of 2021 for the trails a6 Tribuco Max, 9.5 ounces. Solomon Ultra Glide, 9.3 ounces. Okay, there you go. That is the other shoe to buy, the A6 Tribuco Max. There we go. Shoe quick specs on your screen for the Solomon Ultra Glide. Soak it in one more time. Now, I'll confirm. I'll do the math again, but I think we came in at 7.98 out of 10. Oh, so close to 8. I mean, it's like, it's right there. It's and so as you know, anything at that eight level is just a great, great shoe. 7.98 out of 10 for that 25 mile, 2,500 feet of vertical gain for trail shoes. Full review. There you go. Comment of the day, question of the day. Christopher Williams, here we go. I believe we're pulling this from when I initially started testing the Solomon Ultra Glide. Christopher Williams says, I'm usually up at 4 a.m. to do my runs. There's something satisfying about getting in the run before before the day has a chance to catch you it's so true like the days are busy life is busy work school you know family it's like if you can get that run in before the day has a chance to catch you i just absolutely love it christopher williams you get the comment of the day question of the day what has been your favorite solomon trail running shoe thus far in 2021 and why okay favorite solomon trail running shoe of 2021 and why onward and upward we're gonna toss it to 
the trail running shoe matrix of 2021. All right, Solomon, or sorry, the, uh, the whole kit and caboodle, trail running shoe matrix 2021. It was straight fire, everybody, right there, right there, right there. All right, keep turning that doorknob. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you two tomorrow.